Okay, welcome. Um, my name is Master Monet, and uh, the purpose of these videos is to educate the female slaves that are applying for my session work. Um, the reason I'm going online and uh, going through YouTube and setting up a Twitter account is the fact that uh, the acceptance rate over the past couple of years has gone down drastically uh, because there's a lot of misunderstanding and I'm really no longer involved with the BDSM community uh, in the Midwest so I have set up a blogger account that does have the application on it and I have set up a Twitter account so this video is just a quick introduction about who I am about my discipline and uh, about my own past. Uh, first things first, um, my master, the one who made me, uh, is Master Maximilian. And uh, he was born in Germany in 1929 in Munich. And he taught me the discipline called Einverstand. The translation from German to English is one understanding or one mind. Now this discipline is based on the premise of sadism. And my master, uh, I studied with him for 16 months and I learned about bondage, domination, and sadism. Uh, it's important that you understand as the purpose of these videos is absolute clarity that when I say I'm for stunt, I'm for stunt is a discipline in sadism. It is not a religion. My master, uh, he was a Jew and uh, I, I do go to church. Uh, I go to the Methodist church. But Einverstand is not a religion, it's not a cult, it is a discipline based on the principles of sadism. Uh, my master um, studied the animal sciences, he was a veterinarian, and he left Germany in 1960. And he came here to America, and I began my training in the state of Florida in 1996. Uh, for myself, I have studied psychology and psychiatry, uh, but my master trained me in sadism and bondage and domination. And Einverstand is about the merging of the master and the slave into becoming self aware, where the female slave is able to transfer her body and go into her mind. And so she is completely aware of her own discipline, of who she is and what she wants. Now, uh, to get into some of the technical aspects of it, um, this is the uniform that I wore uh, when I was an apprentice. It is simply a, a white t-shirt. There is a black 10-inch stripe down the middle and I wore this as an apprentice and uh, I still have it today obviously but it is forbidden for me to wear it uh, because once you ascend to mastery an eye for stunt uh, there is no going back um, well and also uh, I wouldn't be able to wear it anyway it's a it's a 2x back when I was playing rugby and actually in shape um, this is the uniform that I wear now. Um, hopefully you can see that. Um, this is a long shirt sleeve, black with red. And over the placement of the heart, you can see um, uh, this stands for bondage. This stands for domination, and this stands for 
sadism. And uh, the length is five, four, and seven. And these are the pillars uh, that make up Ein Verstand. The colors that are used, um, white obviously stands for the color of an apprentice, someone that is pure, someone that is seeking knowledge. Um, the color black is a reference to the medieval executioners. Uh, they normally wore a hood that was black or ash or gray, depending on what kingdom they served. And the color of red is the it, the color red represents the heart, which is why the five four seven is over the heart of the master. So all those that look upon my my uniform. Uh, they understand that my discipline uh, is something that I have given myself to in my own heart. Um, another thing that I wanted to address is that uh, when these, when you apply, and I'm not a moralist, I'm not a prude but I do have a procedure and it is a test and if you are a female slave if you are a masochist if you are submissive then there really shouldn't be any kind of misunderstanding but apparently there is I have put the application on the blog and I also have put my own dossier so when you print off the application I would highly recommend that you read everything that's on the blog and that's on the application. Now the reason for this is because many of you that keep sending me your applications they're not completely filled out or you have made things you have requested things as you as you can. I mean a, a slave an applicant can request as many things as they wish uh, I don't have to grant them I mean you can you can request a thousand things and I can grant them all or you can request ten things and I will deny them all but once I do grant your request I cannot it cannot be rescinded but some of you are applying and you're writing things and you're sending extra material and um, well you're just not really performing your due diligence and I still have my FetLife account and uh, I, I'm, I am somewhat active on other websites uh, but FetLife is probably the main one but uh, as I reactivated my account and I decided to do these things, um, this is, these things are basically meant for the women that are trying to apply for session work. And uh, I am not taking on apprentices. I'm not going to train anyone on Hunt for Stunt. Uh, I made that decision in 2008 because um, the the men that have approached me on on their training uh, they apparently find it uh, well, they find it quite amusing that I spent so much time with my master the one who made me but I take this very seriously this is my life and I, I still believe in it but the fact is is that here in America the the men and women that are involved in the BDSM community um, for me um, I don't know it just it seems to be sort of like a fad and I don't treat it that way I mean as you can see me right now I'm <laughs> I'm wearing a, a spandex hood for visual and oral I started getting into spandex about six months ago and uh, it's something I really enjoy especially after I shave that's about 30 minutes my, my, when my pores close uh, I love the feeling of it and uh, 
and you know this is just the way I am uh, right now I'm, I'm in my art studio uh, the part of it anyway uh, and I do work in stucco art but I am retired but I still do art exhibitions so um, this is just an intro there are going to be other videos that I'm going to make that involve about how I make my uniforms, my hoods, my masks. I will also bring in my arsenal and I will give you a demonstration of what they look like. My, some of my own uh, customized handmade wooden paddles and some of my horseware bridles and whips and things like that. But this is just an introduction. So uh, I, I, I'm dedicated to this. And I'm going to continue it uh, and I believe that it is important because I believe that we are going to be able to save a great deal of time uh, by communicating this way so you won't waste your time applying for something that you're not going to get so until next time I am Master Monet and serve well as pain is pleasure thank you